Olaplex products have totally transformed my hair. I love them, but I'm not gonna lie, they can be really confusing just to figure out which products you should buy, how often you should use them, when you should use them. But today I have the 10 best ways to use Olaplex on your hair. <laughs> So for algorithmic reasons, we're gonna be calling these Olaplex hacks, but they're pretty much just Olaplex tips on how to get the most out of these pricey little bottles. <laughs> First, let me say that Olaplex works for every type of damage. It doesn't matter if you have thermal damage, chemical damage, if you have virgin hair. Olaplex not only repairs damaged hair, but it also prevents damage. So even if your hair is not damaged, you can still use these products. The first hack, this is gonna be how to figure out which products you need the most. So here is my suggestion. If your hair is severely damaged, just any sort of like severe hair treatment, like from bleaching, then you should use number zero, three, and eight. So according to the Olplex website, these are supposed to treat damaged hair. So if you have virgin hair that has just a little bit of mechanical or thermal damage, then I would recommend you to use my personal favorites, six and seven. If you need a shampoo and conditioner with the Olaplex technology, then I recommend four and five and potentially four P if you need a purple shampoo. That shampoo and conditioner, they don't work for my hair at all. So I'm not gonna be talking about those today, but they may work for you. They're just way too heavy for my hair. Why are you so heavy? So you can absolutely use every single Olaplex product, no matter what type of damage you have, but these products are expensive. So if you don't wanna buy the entire line, that's just kind of what I recommend for you guys. Also, I will be getting into this in a few minutes, but number zero has the strongest concentration of their patented bond repairing technology in a take-home product. So that's why you're gonna see the biggest difference with this product if you have severely damaged hair. So the second hack is actually for using number zero. This is the intensive bond building hair treatment. So this is a liquid and essentially with this product, you apply it onto your hair before you apply number three. As I mentioned, zero has the highest concentration of the patented Olaplex technology in a take home product. So for the sake of this hack, I'm gonna be calling this the liquid gold of the Olaplex take home products. Liquid gold. Because it's liquid gold, you want to savor what is in this bottle. Now my hack to apply zero onto your hair to save as much of it as possible is to apply it over a large bowl. So this way, if anything drips off your hair as you're applying it, everything will just fall into the bowl and then you'll be able to pick it up with your hands and just apply it back onto your hair. So with this hack, not a single drop of this is gonna go to waste. Now with Zero, they actually sell this in a spray bottle, but you can still apply this onto your hair over like a really big bowl with a spray bottle. So I'm not saying to pour this into the bowl and then just like apply it like that. Flip your head at an angle and apply this into your hair with the bowl underneath you and everything is gonna get caught and then you're not gonna waste any of this. Olaplex hack number three. So this is to shampoo your hair from your roots to the ends using a clarifying shampoo before you use um, number three and or zero. So here's the routine that I use. After you shampoo your hair with a clarifying shampoo, well, first of all, you wanna do that gently. Shampooing the ends of your hair, that's not something that I recommend regularly, but when you're using Olaplex, you just wanna make sure that all of the residue is gone from your hair. And you may have like silicone residue on your ends. So you wanna make sure that that is all gone before you use Olaplex. After you have gently clarified roots to the ends, you wanna dry your hair with a gentle hair drying towel, and then you're going to apply Olaplex number zero all over your hair. You're gonna wait 10 minutes, just like it says on the bottle, and then apply number three. You are going to wait 45 minutes, and then you're gonna gently shampoo your hair and condition your hair. So let's just think about hair for a second and why this hack just makes sense with Olaplex. If you are using silicones, dry shampoo, if your hair is oily, 
sure, maybe Olaplex is gonna be able to get inside of your hair shaft a little bit, but definitely not 100% or as much as is possible for your hair. So by shampooing your hair first, you are removing every barrier, if there is a barrier, that is getting in the way from Olaplex really getting in there and repairing the broken bonds. So number four, this isn't so much a hack as it is just something that a lot of people do not know about Olaplex number three. So once the hair perfector has been in your hair for 45 minutes, minutes, then it has done all that it can really do to your hair. So I know a lot of people like to leave it in their hair overnight, but that isn't really going to do, that actually is not going to do anything because 45 minutes is kind of the cap. And then also if you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes, then you are wasting your money and you're wasting even more of your money if you apply it onto dry hair. You can put it on dry hair, but you have to put enough on your hair so that it actually gets your hair fully wet and saturated. And that's a lot of product. So I recommend that that you put it on wet hair because that way you are gonna have an easier time spreading it out and you won't have to use as much product so then you won't run out of this as quickly and as I said before these are pretty expensive also something to remember Olaplex number three is not a conditioner it does not condition your hair it's not a leave-in you put it on your hair and then you shampoo and condition leaving it in overnight is not going to do anything actually it can be harmful for your hair just because sleeping with wet hair it's it's just uh, not a good idea. 45 minutes and you're good. So although there is a cap on the amount of time that number three will work for you, and this brings me to my fifth hack, there are things that you can do to intensify the treatment as it's in your hair. And you can intensify or incubate the treatment by wearing a plastic shower cap while you have zero and three on your hair. You can also buy one of those like microwavable hair covers. I believe that they heat up and, and I don't know, they just keep your hair warm while you have some sort of treatment on your hair. And basically what's going on here is that if your hair is warm during the treatment, that is going to help the treatment to be stronger and just work more effectively. And the plastic can help to keep the heat within your hair while you have Olaplex on. But besides incubating the Olaplex, the cap is also going to keep your hair wet for the duration of the treatment. And this is really, really important because when you're using Olaplex, if your hair dries while you have this on, then it is not going to work. You need your hair to stay wet while you have this on and the plastic cap is going to help you do that. So I feel like I've kind of just gone on like a really long tangent about how to use zero and three. So let's just recap before we move on. Not sponsored. So how do you get the most out of Number zero and three. First, you shampoo, then you towel dry. Then you use number zero over a bowl. You leave it in for 10 minutes and then you use number three. And after you have fully saturated all of your hair in number three, you put a plastic shower cap over your hair for 45 minutes and then you get in the shower and you shampoo and condition. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you are going to get every last any out of this, okay? Let's talk about my personal favorites, six and seven. Six and seven are going to work best for those who have minimal damage on their hair. You are gonna be able to see the biggest difference with these products. Not saying that those with damage can't use these, but just in terms of like who will see the biggest difference, it's definitely gonna be those with minimal damage. Basically, they're gonna to help to protect your hair from UV damage. They provide heat protection. If you have the means to, I would say to buy both. And this brings me to my next hack, which is to use them together. So my favorite way to use these products is to dispense a really small amount of the bond smoother and then a tiny drop of number seven. I mix them together in my hands and then I apply it onto my hair. I mainly just focus on like the mid length to the ends. Before bed, I put my hair up in this like really loose bun and then the next morning I shampoo and condition. And that is my little hack for silky smooth hair using these two products. If you only want to buy one, then here is my little hack to figure out which one you should buy. Do you have curly or straight hair? And if you have curly hair, do you prefer to wear your hair straight or do you prefer to wear it curly? 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 No! For those who want to keep their hair curly, I definitely recommend number six. This is a cream and it's going to help to detangle and it's going to also help to reduce 
frizz. You can also scrunch your hair using number six. I've read that that's a really good hack for those with curly hair. The Bond Smoother is not as oily as the bonding oil, of course. Because of that, if you have curly hair with the Bond Smoother, you're still going to be able to maintain your hair's natural texture without the frizz and also it will protect your hair from like heat damage and UV damage and everything like that. So if you like to wear your hair straight or if you straighten it, then I recommend number seven. This is really going to give you that straight I always like to compare it to share like that type of hair this is gonna give you that so let's put it this way the movie Encanto which I am absolutely obsessed with right now this is just kind of like where my brain is going if you're thinking about Mirabelle I would recommend that Mirabelle use number six and if you're thinking of Isabella I would recommend that she use number seven I feel like a uh, kind of like a Disney nerd just bringing that up <laughs> nerd alert Nerd alert. Now, another Olaplex number seven hack. This bottle was designed in a specific way where you literally just flip it upside down like this and you tap the top. Did you guys see that? That is how you get one dose out of this. I used to like shake the bottle, <laughs> you know, do to do, and I would like get out so much. It was just such a waste because you don't need that much. You really don't. For my hair, I do two of the doses and that is just enough to work effectively on my hair. If your hair is medium length or short, then you can just do one tap. But for long hair, I would recommend to do up to three taps. But that's kind of how you get the product out of the bottle. My favorite way to use number seven is as a leave-in cream before air drying my hair. And so that is just my hack for number seven. This significantly reduces the amount of time that it takes for my hair to dry and when it does air dry it honestly looks like i blow dried it i don't have any frizz i don't have any tangles you can still see my natural hair texture like at the ends it's just it's amazing this product 10 out of 10. i sort of saved the best for last the these are just my olaplex dupes what you tried to make a dupe out of me so for right now, I really only have dupes for these two products, number six and seven. It's not like a drugstore dupe. I'm pretty sure it's actually more expensive. The dupe for number six is going to be the L'Oreal LV Dream Lengths No Haircut Cream. Of course, the only caveat here is that this does not contain the patented Olaplex technology. Personally, I feel like although the patented technology is great for your hair, I do not think it is necessary to be present in a styling product, especially because this has silicones. So they're gonna coat your hair, which as I've mentioned before, is actually a good thing um, for a lot of us. It can help to protect your hair from heat damage and everything like that. However, it is not gonna allow the Olaplex technology to get into your hair. Also, if you're applying it onto dry hair, it's not gonna do anything. I absolutely love these for styling products. It's not the Olaplex technology that I love them for, it's more for the product. Does that make sense? I honestly do not think that having the Olaplex technology in these products is going to go into your hair shaft and repair damaged hair. That's why I say that this is a dupe. Even though it doesn't have the Olaplex technology, it doesn't really need it. This also has silicones and essentially it's just going to protect the ends of your hair, detangle them. It's gonna protect your hair from mechanical damage because your hair is not gonna be getting caught in the hairbrush. It's gonna protect your hair from heat damage. It makes it really smooth and it smells amazing. If you do not want to buy this one, I recommend this one from the drugstore if you want something less expensive. So my finally, my very last dupe for the Olaplex bonding oil. I actually have two here. This is OGX's Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil. And then I have this Garnier Fructis Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment. Okay, so basically these have 
argan oil in them. That's not really why I um, necessarily like these. It's more so that, again, this provides that silicone protection, but it's in an oil form. So it's gonna be great if you want straight hair or if you just want your hair to look very shiny and sleek. These products are going to do something similar to number seven. The only thing that I found with these is that it takes maybe like 10 minutes for my hair to fully soak it in. So when I first apply either of these, it kind of sits on my hair and looks a little bit oily, but then after 10 minutes, it looks great. This does not take as long. So I think that these oils are probably a little bit thicker than number seven. Nevertheless, I still think that these are pretty good dupes. For this okay I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that this video helped you to understand the Olaplex products better they are extremely confusing or they can be really confusing hopefully this taught you something and now you can better understand which products you should spend your money on and everything like that so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed if you have an Olaplex hack or tip that I did not mention in this video, please leave them in the comments below and I will talk to you guys next time.